For centuries, humanity has gazed at the stars, wondering how the cosmos came to be what it is today. It has been the topic of theological, philosophical, and scientific debate. Famous scientists such as Albert Einstein, Edwin Hubble, and Stephen Hawking have all attempted to unravel the secrets of the universe's evolution. The Big Bang hypothesis is one of the most well-known and largely accepted explanations for the evolution of the universe. Welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Quick reminder, subscribing is free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar videos. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. It is not easy to envision a period around 13.7 billion years ago when the whole of the universe existed as a singularity. According to the Big Bang Hypothesis, which is one of the main contending hypotheses that attempt to explain how the universe came into being, all of the matter in the cosmos as well as space itself existed in a form that was smaller than a subatomic particle. What is the Big Bang exactly? The majority of physicists, astronomers, and cosmologists agree that the universe as we know it was formed in a catastrophic event that not only created the vast bulk of the universe's matter, but also the physical laws that govern our ever-expanding cosmos. This concept is often referred to as the Big Bang Theory. For close to a century, the term has been bandied about by scholars and non-scholars alike. The basics of the theory are easy to understand. In a brief, the Big Bang Theory proposes that all of the matter in the universe, including present and past, came into being at the same instant around 13.8 billion years ago. At this time, all matter had been compressed into an extremely tiny ball that was known as a singularity. This ball had an infinite density and immense heat. The singularity suddenly started growing and the beginning of the universe as we know it took place at that moment. Once you think about that, an even more difficult question arises, what existed just before the Big Bang occurred? The question itself goes back at least 1600 years, to a time before modern cosmology. Saint Augustine, a Christian theologian who lived in the 4th century, was obsessed with the topic of what existed before God created the cosmos. His analysis led him to the conclusion that the phrase in the beginning in the Bible suggested that God had not created anything in the past. In fact, Augustine argued that God did not create the world at a particular point in time, but rather that time and the cosmos came into being at the same moment. What did Einstein think of it? In the early 20th century, Albert Einstein developed his theory of general relativity, and he came at rather identical results with that theory. Think about the impact that mass has on the passage of time. Because of the weight of a planet, time moves at a somewhat different pace on its surface and in its orbit than it does for people living on the planet's surface. Time moves more slowly for a person who is standing next to a large boulder than it does for a person who is standing alone in a field. However, the difference is so negligible that it is impossible to discern. George Lemaitre, a Belgian cosmologist, published a paper in 1927 that proposed the idea that the universe began as a singularity and that the Big Bang was the event that caused it to expand. His work was based on Einstein's research. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time began when that primordial singularity expanded to its present size and form. Is the matter closed? <laughs> Far from it. This is one cosmic conundrum that isn't going away. In the decades that followed Einstein's passing, the development of quantum physics and lots of new hypotheses resurrected questions about pre-Big Bang. Dinosaurs roamed the Earth long before humans were on the Earth. Before there was a planet called Earth, there was nothing more than a huge cloud of gas and dust floating around in the void of space. Before there was a universe, well, before that is a topic that gets a lot of attention from physicists. We do not know what happened before the Big Bang gave birth to the universe, but the smartest people in science have lots of interesting theories to explain what may have occurred. So the Big Bang happened. One thing led to another, and now you're here. But we're concerned with everything that happened before that. What triggered the singularity in the first place? Some theories about what happened before the Big Bang. An earlier universe collided with the singularity that gave birth to ours. Researchers at Princeton named Robert Dick and James Peebles were the ones who first came up with the concept that would later become known as the Big Bounce. Some proponents of the theory argue that our universe is infinite, undergoing an endless cycle of collapse and expansion, which means we're simply waiting for another collapse. Proponents of this theory admit that in order for it to make sense, it would need the development of some new physical laws. Critics argue that the principles of entropy do not allow a universe to collapse into a singularity and then emerge again. The cosmos remained inert until something set it into motion. According to this theory, the universe before the Big Bang was a relatively small, flat, and high-pressure space that was metastable, 
which meant that it was stable until it found a state that was even more stable. This is similar to how a house of cards might remain perfectly still forever until a breeze came through. That breeze eventually arrived at some time. It stopped to be metastable, expanding into the cosmos that we are familiar with. This hypothesis does not defy the principles of entropy, but it also does not explain the issues that entropy has with the universe. We are just one of many universes in the multiverse. This theory is an offshoot of the inflation hypothesis and states that the elements that lead to inflation also lead to the creation of a bunch of smaller universes with low entropy. It says this because the inflation hypothesis states that inflation leads to an increase in the universe's total entropy. Unfortunately, all of those worlds would be isolated from one another, making it impossible for us to discover them. It should come as no surprise that this leaves some scientists feeling dissatisfied. There was no such thing as a singularity. Instead, the fabric of space held all of the energy in the cosmos. The inflation theory proposes that oscillations in this so-called inflation field caused a massive surge of energy in one region of the field, causing it to expand extraordinarily fast. That exponential development surge would leave a trail of primordial gravitational waves, not the large ones identified by LIGO in 2015, but microscopic imprints in the cosmic microwave background that other projects, including the BICEP2 experiment, have been looking for. We may not have discovered proof for it yet, but most cosmologists believe it best explains the universe's low entropy as well as a few other cosmic oddities. Here's a thought. What if our universe is but the offspring of another older universe? Some astrophysicists speculate that this story is written in the relic radiation left over from the Big Bang. But whether it was a Big Bang or a Big Bounce, the question of what was before our current universe remains unanswered. Maybe nothing at all. Maybe it's a parallel world or a slightly altered version of the one we live in. Perhaps an infinite number of worlds, each of which is governed by a unique set of laws. In the end, it's likely that we'll never be able to know for certain how the universe came into being. However, cosmologists are not resorting to flimsy explanations either. There is a lot of effort being done to at least advance our knowledge of the pre-bang cosmos, and the strongest explanations will win out along the way. That concludes today's video. We sincerely hope you have found the video entertaining. Please leave any questions or comments below. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more of our amazing videos.